What's going on, my PT peeps? My walking dead family, my fighters. I'm one eyebrow, also known as PT. You don't know if I'm wicked or blinking, but I'm definitely thinking about Princess. Can we trust her? Is she a spy? All these different theories and speculation are going around. As we all know, The Walking Dead is the series of speculation. Spoiler warning for all things Walking Dead, that's for sure. But after watching the trailer and talking with people and more people and having more discussions, a lot of people are wondering and thinking and really theorizing, maybe even putting around the rumor mill, that Princess is a spy. And I just don't see it, but that doesn't mean it's not there because the show is the show and the comic is the comic. And if you know the comic, you know that Princess is basically sticking to the story that she is now. They meet her in a city, they bring her with her, she goes to the Commonwealth, and she's kind of a funny character, and she's been that so far. But, like I said, the show is the show and the comic is the comic. As we saw from the season 10C trailer, Princess is taken away by the Commonwealth soldiers. Yumiko goes to intervene. She kind of gets smacked by the rifle. And the Commonwealth soldiers are not messing around. They are there to neutralize any threats to make sure our group is good. They don't know our group. They know Stephanie. Stephanie told Eugene to meet them there. Stephanie is not there. We're going to meet the Commonwealth soldiers and Lance Hornsby. But this photo right here from the Season 10 C trailer has a lot of people talking. They open up the train car door and we see Princess next to a Commonwealth soldier and she doesn't have a hood on her head. We see Ezekiel, Yumiko, and Eugene and they have hoods on their heads. So a lot of people are wondering, what's up with Princess? Is she working with the Commonwealth? Why doesn't she have a hood on her head? I can't tell from the snippet from the trailer and this photo, but I just don't see Princess being a spy. But let's think about it if she was. It would make sense that Stephanie and the Commonwealth sent the princess to the city to basically be there to make first contact. It's pretty far-fetched, but again, the show can do what they want, and princess could be a different character on the show versus the comic. But personally, I don't see it. I see that they're doing the same thing with princess, that she's there by herself alone in the city. She's, you know, being alone in the city is gonna drive you crazy. She is happy to see other people. She bonds with our group. She goes with them to the train yard and she's most likely running her mouth against the Commonwealth soldiers or to the Commonwealth soldiers. And they don't like that. So they knock her down, they drag her away and they separate each of our group members into different train cars. That's most likely why they're in different train cars and you see Princess being by herself in the train car when it opens. But remember Dante, Dante was far different on the show. Remember, as I said it before, and I'll say it again, the show is the show and the comic is the comic, and it is. But can we trust her? I think so, I hope so, and I hope big things happen for Princess in the Commonwealth story arc. That can be pretty great for season 11, and I just don't know what they're gonna do, how they're gonna end the main show, but we're gonna need some comic relief, and I feel like Princess is probably the best option for that now. Her at the Commonwealth with Mercer, it could be pretty great. Hopefully it makes sense. Let me know your thoughts, post your comments below, and if you can guys, please help us achieve that goal of 100,000 subscribers. We post daily videos about The Walking Dead and various topics. Thank you guys, stay safe, and tell them, Daryl. Oh,